Hey guys, my name is Ripro and welcome to Unkindness. Now, this is a horror game that I found. It's an RPG. And I was thinking of being a bit salty, you know how you watch a YouTuber's video, but sometimes they you just get that one video where they're a little like like depressed or anything and they don't want to record anything, so they're like, oh, I gotta get this video done, and they're like a little bit salty. I was kind of thinking of doing that just for because of the title and also because of the story because a girl is she survives a, a train crash I've never been on a train but she gets stuck underground and now I just have to find my way out and after that I'm surprised she even wants to do anything like she she was just in a train crash and now now she's stuck it, it, like she could just sleep but I, I have to help her out and, and it's the same thing like if I were in a train crash and I was stuck underground I'd still probably record a video. That's that's how dedicated I am. Uh, I, I just uh, I need to get back into uploading every day, and also because I have my salty crackers, which helps me, well, not be salty because they're really good and they make me happy. Wheat thins are my favorite cracker on the planet. <laughs> Let's start new game. And by the screenshots, everything is red. Everything looks red. Saturday, 10 p.m. Deep beneath the city streets. Deep, 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 deep. On the last train running down the tracks for the night sits a, gir a young girl, not older than mine, sound asleep. The train's repeating k chunk, k chunk noise has become like her very own lullaby. But tonight, she suddenly awoke when. <laughs> the girl didn't know what the shaking was. Maybe an earthquake, or a cave in, or someone dancing. Shaking. As she stood up confused, a loud screech ran, rang through her brain like a migraine. This, uh, there's a lot of rhyming in this. It's like Dr. Zeus, but darker. Before she was able to comprehend what was happening, the train came to a sudden crash. Somehow, our little girl was not harmed. Uh, she got home. She got home to her feet. <laughs> and looked around the car. She was the only person on board. Maybe other passengers were in the other cars. Hopefully she could find help. Ooh. Okay, uh, Z? Is it the old controls, please? Yes, it is. The little girl looked at the book in front of her. At first it seemed to be a comic about a boy and a girl falling in love, but then it turned darker. She flipped the page. The little girl has no interest in the comic and promptly ignores its existence. <laughs> well, you don't like comic books then. Okay, well you might as well just throw yourself off the train. I don't think it's moving though. Or am I- no, I'm stuck underground, aren't I? This does look like a train. It's the door to the driver's cabinet, but you can't open it. Aww. The little girl looked at the poster on the wall and talked about safety on board the train. She felt it was a bit of a cruel joke to read it after what had happened, but nonetheless she did. Oh. If a fire were to break in one of our trains, all passengers should remain first remain calm. Our automated sprinkler system will be activated to put out the flames within seconds. Should the fire be too large or dangerous, everyone pile on top of it to stop the, the burning. All doors are set to to forcibly open at the same time as well. Not really. <laughs> yeah, the door is just uh, it's like they're a sliding door, and they they open really slowly. <laughs> ah! The little girl tried to open the doors leading out, but they would not open. But it opens for everyone else. The button for the doors were glowing red, like it did when the chain would still be moving. Flashback. This way? Whoa! Let's walk through that one. The little girl couldn't believe her eyes. It was the conductor of the train. Well, he's not conducting no more. To, despite the horrific image of her corpse, the girl couldn't help but to look at the scene. Her neck was snapped, at, and the back of her head had been split right open by blunt trauma. The little girl felt lucky just to have lost her balance in the crash as she looked at the blood at her feet. In the pool of blood, the little girl found something. It was an ID card belonging to the late conductor. Thinking it might help her escape this nightmarish scene, she picked it up and put it in her pocket. Okay, could just said I 
pick something up and put it in my pocket. <laughs> huh. Okay. Look at everything. Dedication. The little girl sees a middle-aged man lying dead on the table. Oh, these are the other people. He must have been tricking when the impact came at his face was smashed directly into his new broken glasses. Oh. Yeah, I, I feel ya. Well, not for the whole thing, but someone did break my 3D glasses today. <laughs> oh, what's this on the ground? What's that? Is that just a big paper clip? <laughs> this guy tried to be an ostrich, and uh, he was scared, so he put his head through the floor of the train. No. The little girl saw the body of a dead man. He had boarded the train at the same time as her. Saw a shoulder bag. She tried lifting it, but it was heavy. Yeah, she, she doesn't have broad shoulders like I do. At a simple glance, she could, she could see that it was full of books. It probably belonged to a student. The little girl was not one to pry through other people's things, so she let the bag be for now. Aww, I want to touch the bag. Ew. Ugh. The little girl sees the body of a high school girl who had desperately tried to stop her bleeding wounds. But despite her best attempts, the light had now faded from the high school girl's eyes. Forever. Also, th this is just a demo too. It was released in 2015, but I, I really like it so far. Oh, yes, I did use it, yes. I'm a smarty. Huh? Who are you? Train still in motion? Well, uh, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, this wall was blocking our path. Uh, the glass is a bit shattered behind you, and there's a, a heart. A couple of them. I didn't get any time to react before the train went into, went into it and stopped by force. Are you alright? The impact was massive. Ooh, options. <laughs> oh no, I, I'm so sorry. You're not saying much. Is it the shock? The little girl gestured with her hands. <laughs> what? I, I don't... Oh. You're mute, right? Sorry, I, I don't speak sign language. I'll try to keep my question simple and you can just nod or shake your head, alright? Why are you on a train at this hour? Are you heading home to your parents? Oh yeah, it, it did say that I was mute. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes. Alright, well, I'm, I'm sure you'll see them soon. Sorry for prying, but I do have another question. That ID card, it's the conductor's card. Is she, um, is she okay? It was a she? No. Oh no. Is she... No. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Listen, the glass cut me bad and the impact threw me about the cabin. I'm barely able to keep myself against the panel here, so there's no way I'm walking. We're currently in an underground tunnel. But it's not that far from the surface. Do you think you could maybe go and find help? That's very brave of you. I'll be waiting here. I don't know if the doors will be open. Will open, though. Maybe they can be forced open somehow. I'll run myself into it. Like Markiplier, but actually get through the door. The little girl was going to leave when suddenly... What the? Run, little girl, run! Ah! Little girl was scared. What was the thing in there? I don't know. It blinked. I, I can blink back. One thing was certain. She either needed to stop, stop it reach, needed to stop it reaching her, or escape the train fast. Ah! I, I want to see it chasing me though. Come on, barge through the doors. Oh, I dare you! Get <gasps> ah, ah. even less about the book now, which is to say she probably ignored it again. Ignoring the book. I love the music! Small metal object glimmer from within the monster's expanding body. It's a little to the right of you. She took a deep breath and closed her eyes as she reached out for it, hoping it could help her. Don't cut your hand! Monster's body felt rough like a rock, yet also moist and soft. Moist! I hate the word moist! An unnerving sensation. 
but the little girl managed to grip the metal object and pull her hand back as she opened her eyes. The little girl's hand was a small metal plate li plated lighter, possibly belonging to the driver. Put the lighter in her pocket. I have a lot of things in my pocket. The high school girl's grip was a napkin clutched tight to her chest. The little girl tried to grab the napkin, but the high school girl would not let go of it. Carefully. Yes? She won't let go of a napkin! Fine, you... You leave your napkin here. You hold on to it as tight as you can. Yeah, that'll get you... That'll get you to safety. Search the bag for anything that could be useful in this situation. A cell phone. Maybe the girl could text someone for help. Unfortunately, the girl soon noticed that the phone had no reception on the ground. The little girl found a small box cutter. She picked it up carefully not to harm herself. She pocketed the cell phone and the box cutter. The little girl felt a little guilty for stealing. But she had no time to worry. She kept her stride. Okay. Keep your stride. I have so many sharp objects in my pocket. Don't Just don't bend over. <laughs> that'll hurt. <laughs> I need that napkin. Oh. oh! I cut the girl's hand and she gave me the napkin. She was able to remove a napkin. All for a napkin. <laughs> From her hand, that all she used was an attempt to stop the bleeding. The napkin was strained with blood and dry from how long it had been held to the student's shirt by now. The little girl put the napkin in her pocket and shut the, the eyes of the high school girl so she may rest. Oh. What did I need a napkin for? Put the napkin on the monster. <laughs> Yeah. Would the napkin make any difference? <laughs> Something under that. If she could find the flask the man had poured his drink from, she could use her napkin to build a bomb. Found it! Oh, the stench of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I found it before you could have said that. She put the napkin into the bottle, which had, but still had enough liquid to reach its tip. Carefully, the little girl carried the Molotov cocktail in her hand as tight as she could. Lose it. Now there is a use for a napkin. Or... Yes, go with the or. <laughs> yeah. Now everything's red. The huge flash! Deafening sound as the liquor ignited and exploded into flames. <laughs> that was a person? Well, you didn't look like one. <laughs> Even though it had no visible mouths as the fire spread. Or was that me? The little girl got to her feet once again, watching the creature burn more and more. Suddenly, the soothing sound of the train sprinkler system filled the room. The door slid open, revealing the monster's grip on the outside of the train as well. But the pain from the fire had made the monster lose its focus, and the little girl ran for the opening. The little girl jumped down onto the hard ground and took a look at the mess she had survived. Somehow, she was more afraid of what she saw now than what she had been inside the train. The monster was the size of the tunnel, maybe larger. It's a cool tunnel. The girl didn't know how something this large could even exist, seeing how it made her head hurt. <laughs> Not just her head, her whole body, because she died. <laughs> So she ran for the nearest door, hoping to find a safe passage through the surface nearby. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Oh. Oh. I also like, like, surviving, like, like when, when I uh, watch a movie and it's like, the, like they're stuck somewhere and then they finally get out, like the ambient music and it's like, you're all going to be okay. And they're just like trying to, like, like recollect themselves, and they're trying to like calm down. It's just a really cool thing to see, like act actors do, and and in games too. What? The little girl saw a young lady sitting by the wall in the underground passage. Hi. She looked homeless, wearing dirty clothes, and looked w looking weak and tired. Hmm. Oh. It's not often I get visitors down here. Come on over. I don't bite. I promise. Though the little girl was reluctant to trust a stranger, she was glad to see a living person again. <laughs> just walks up to her, just... <laughs> the little girl sat down by the young lady. 
I'd offer you a drink, but I'm all out, and you seem a bit too young for it anyway. Then again, you do reek of whiskey. What have you been up to? <laughs> the little girl pointed to her throat, hoping to convey her inability to speak. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Yes, it's a cat. A cat is, has my tongue. It's a mini cat. Oh, wait. Ah, I get it. You can't talk, huh? Don't worry. I don't mind. Though I gotta say, you've been down here as... You being down here is strange. Tell me, have you seen any, well, particularly strange things around? Very weird. I was afraid of that. <laughs> Listen, little girl, this place is dangerous and not really the kind of place you want to stick around in. Why? What? You're here? Why, why do you get to be here? Are you part of that? But if we're going to get you anywhere safe, then I think I should first tell you what I've seen. I've seen some stuff. To be continued! Ah! <laughs> oh, it was really good. I liked it. I, I personally liked it. Like, the like weird short games, they, they, always, they always get to my heart because they're, they're underrated. And not many people play them as much, and I like the, like the, the, it's kind of a boss battle, I just needed a napkin and a, and to make, and the bottle to make a bomb. <laughs> I also like, like, the crafting too. It was little, but like, I had to go, like, I had to run around, collect all those things, and I thought that was really cool. to do is stay positive <laughs> I recorded this maybe a week ago but I I stayed positive and I I went in to edit it this morning and it's all good I just had to had to do a little bit more complicated editing I had to add like two more layers but it's it's all good and I I added a, a little emotional thingy at the end did, did you cry I, I hope you didn't uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. But I did want to make this small little message just to make sure that you guys don't think that I, I, I will stay mad forever because of that video. Like, I'm just give up. So, uh, here's your normal outro. I haven't really had a, like, a normal, like, outro in a video because the last one was a skit and then, like, that, like, I, then I haven't uploaded in a week. So, here's a brand. So, here's a fresh new one. Thank you all so much for watching. You share with a friend. And I hope we're there on the next one. So I gotta stop lifting my mic so much, so bye for now, I roll out. <laughs>